What is up, y'all? We've got two different distributor boxes that we have to unbox. One of them's been sitting up here on the front table for a full day now because I have not had a chance to unopen it or take it out or whatever because there's a bunch of keys in there. And this one has a bunch of cylinders in it. So let's get started with a dual unboxing. I gotta get uh I gotta start keying up cylinders, which is the only reason I'm stopping to do this actually. Uh, because this I just got back in the shop and this is here, so I do need to get started on uh, keying up these cylinders as far as the other stuff that is like key stock, uh key blanks, tons of key blanks. And we have cylinders. Oh. <laughs> It's okay, I only need 11 right now. <laughs> Sergeant LA keys. Whoa, I love new boxes of Sergeant LA keys. They're so beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. And they're pretty much all going to be cut. And what do we have here? Oh, we did get Baldwin keys. Ah, this is so. Okay, 1510. Note to sell, 1510 are nickel silver keys. Uh, so we need to add more to the order because uh, they didn't have it in the computer as to whether or not they were nickel silver. I have seen some nickel plated Baldwin keys. And those just suck. Uh, so there we go. Ah, flying invoice, that is it in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 on the floor and uh, actually I have to the reason why I have two different orders here is because I had a call in that needed 11 cylinders for something after I'd already ordered this so let's uh, let's uh, move all this aside right now and uh, do the fun one this one's this one's fun to me because it's key blanks I love stocking key blanks I love selling and stocking key blanks. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we have. Much better than shredded invoices. Aren't y'all glad I lowered the volume for you? Right. UPS ground, UPS ground. All right, we have, of course, 9100s. Hey, 9100s. Even more because we were, we were completely out right there. Look at that. Look at that. Completely out. Uh, Velcro pouch key hiders. Key tags, key tags, key tags. Hey, hey, key tags. Uh, we also have more key tags. Some wrist coils, hopefully. I did get some green and yellow, yes. Those two, we definitely needed those two colors. Orange, I don't have orange on the board. Now, uh, Y4, PLS, unfortunately, because that's what Flake is starting to stock more now, is PLS. I know it's the same as Jet, but they're individually, they're bagged by the center tap. How many of these did we get? Let me see. Uh, I don't know. We've got to count those. More PLS, Y11. We have some uh, key shapes. Uh, I'm not overly fond of these because of the one thing that's posted right there. Made in Taiwan. I do not like selling... Focus. 
Focus. Stop it. There we go. I do not like selling non-US made key blanks, but people love these little shapes. Plus there is a new shape that we have just in time for Valentine's Day. The rose. A rose by any other name is not the same. I don't know how that saying goes. But we have uh, Sugar Skull, Quick Sack Schlag, uh, Red Wine, Dog. We have always stocked these. The only one that's new is this one. Uh, so these are just restocked, basically. Restock and uh, one new. One new design. Damn, my phone is being ridiculous with the focusing. Okay, we have uh, a bunch of designer keys. Again, restock. My happy faces, we'll go through all those. Let's see one. Oh, hey, new design. Also in time for uh, Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, we have a, a, a Mexican ignition. There's a Ford. Why did they staple that to that? That doesn't make any sense. Ford ignition. Uh, this is a Focus style ignition, I believe. Without the clip. A lot of truck keys, those. Uh, again, more colored keys. We'll put those there. Uh, I have not previously stocked these best keys, uh, but I am going to start. This is the first one, WA. Those are going to be fairly expensive to stock all of them, but we'll start with that one. YM55, YM56. This little bundle right here, YH47. That little bundle right there is a, an expensive little bundle of keys. Uh, but they are popular keys for Polaris's, and a lot of boats use them. Uh, not boats, but they're, they're, they're used for a lot of different motorcycles. We've got some actual boat keys there. CR-105, that's the uh, master for L2, L4. AR-30, Arco. We don't sell too many of these, but this is one of the most common ones. And again, I don't know why... That is stapled to that because that goes over there. And this can go over here. Uh, but these blanks are expensive as heck. And uh, especially when you're buying 20 at a time. AR1s, that is a Marks key. Use those for Marks almost all the time. If I see 3P, that is for, uh, what is that for? Uh, campers, trailers. If I see locks. TR-47 Jet. Yes. Small head. These kind of match. Like the Ilco version of TR-47 has this big obnoxious head. We'll look at it when we're putting them up. I hate those things. And uh, Jets are the only TR-47 keys that I like. Only ones that I like. And yes. Brass quick set. Lastly, key tags. These are the, the difference between these key tags and the other key tags is these have a little swivel. These just have a ring. Uh, buying a box of the swivel ones, number one, takes up a lot of room on the counter. Uh, but some people, not, not many people want them as much. And I don't want to spend, I don't want to stock a whole box of them, which would take up a lot of room on the counter when we can just sell them like that or pretty much the same same price no cost savings or anything there so that is it let's get started on the stocking actually i'm going to uh, do all this and you won't know because it's going to happen just like this for you
and those people are not the type of people that are going to be bringing their clothes to a clean. Hey, how are you giving away your spot for? So what the hell are you giving them right next to your spot for? No, they wouldn't go to the table on that camel. No, they went in the barrel house. So they're liars too. No, she's hiding in the back. Hey, honey, honey. As part of my rotation, I'm going to use all of the LAs that I have on the board before I add the new ones. Uh, even though we go through these quick enough so that they don't tarnish, I still have to rotate.
Here I'd like to point out how much I hate these Ilco keys. Even the metal heads have the same shape whereas the jet version is the small head. Much better key. I just don't like these. They twist really easily for some reason. And it's probably because of the head of the key. And uh, I was out of room here, so I gotta figure out what to do with these. And I think I'm gonna do this. Let's see, let's see. Let's get in there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. He's out the way. I've been going back and forth here on uh, Y11s. It seems like every other time they're either out of brass or, or I have to get the nickel silver. And since I just dump them all in the open bin, that is problematic when I want somebody wants maybe give them a choice on nickel plated versus brass or I will try to get rid of that. I don't like nickel plated with Y11 because we do a lot of impressioning on Y11. And nickel plated does not impression real well. So once again, now I've got three different ones. I'm just gonna loop these up on a key ring so they don't get lost in the shuffle. And I have this one, uh, I think this one's LSDA. I don't know, let's see. Uh, this one is a, a jet, so this one should be the same as these. The Y4s, I don't really necessarily need these yet. I only got them because we only have, where are they, where are they, where are they? We only have about 15 here. So uh, I don't really need to stock these yet. So these are gonna go on the shelf with the other back stock. And lastly, I think this is the last one. If I see three, which is over here. And those hooks don't really hold a lot, especially with the rubber head. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in five and the rest will go in back stock. We go through these quite a bit too. As they go to trailer doors. But unfortunately the hook is pretty short. It can only hold about seven or eight of the rubber head. Eight. Eight exactly. Okay, if I see three up there, AR1 would go right there, and the Y4 goes all the way down, way down, way down there. That'll work. And lastly, we have the ignition. 
that's actually going in somebody's vehicle. And that quick set, please. Yes. Yes. It, hmm. We were down. We were down to just a few, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. And uh, that'll be the first thing I do in the morning. Because as you can see, it's kind of dark outside right now. Uh, but I'll stamp all these in the morning. I'm just gonna set them down here for right now. And fill her up. Too full. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. I think I put a few too many in there, but it's all right. That's all right. Anyway, that's it for the unboxing and stocking. We appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions or comments, as always, post them in the comments section. We'll catch y'all next video.